is a quick grammar video on parts of speech. The first one is nouns. Nouns are basically names, places, animals, things. So if you remember the game name, place, animal, thing we used to play in school. Now let's try to identify the nouns in this sentence because he wants to improve his English score. A bus query dutifully reads the extremely important pre work assignments in the school. So the nouns would be a bus. First of all, then you have assignments. Book, that's it. And the second one is pronoun. These describe nouns. They are used in place of nouns to avoid repetition. Okay, so pronouns in this sentence would be he, his, etc. Third one is verbs. These are action words. Examples for verbs would be wants, reads. Fourth is modifiers basically these modify or describe a noun a pronoun verbs adverbs etc so modifiers we have adjectives which describe a noun and adjectives noun or a pronoun Adjectives in this case would be important, important, pre work. These describe assignments. In the fifth, and there are adverbs as well. So, adverbs describe verbs. adjectives and other adver adverbs so adverbs in this sentence would be very dutifully these are the adverbs so very modifies dutifully dutifully modifies reads very and dutifully become adverbs Fifth one is preposition. Prepositions are basically relationship words. In the show relationship between uh, sentences, phrases, etc. Okay, and these are informally referred to as the directions in which a squirrel can go since squirrels after all seem to move in all possible directions and we have conjunctions Conjunctions connect word or parts of sentences. Conjunction here would be because. Seventh one is interjection. So an interjection is a word or term that denotes a strong or sudden feeling. And these are usually followed by an exclamation mark. So in this example, we don't have an interjection. 
but we can put an interjection. So Abbas very dutifully reads the extremely important pre-class assign pre pre work assignments in this book. Wow. So wow would become an interjection, and then we have phrases. And clauses so phrases are basically incomplete sentences modifiers and nouns so in this example in this book would become a phrase clauses are uh, sentences which have a subject and a verb phrase phrases usually are nouns, modifiers, and are incomplete sentences. Clauses, they are two times dependent and independent. Dependent clause does not make complete sense by itself. It has a noun plus a verb. Independent also has a noun plus a verb, but independent clauses stand by themselves. Uh, so in this sentence again, a dependent clause would be because because he wants to improve his English score would become a dependent clause. And Abbas very dutifully reads the extremely important pre-work assignments in this book would become an independent clause. With this wraps up parts of speech. Thanks for listening.